Hello everyone, welcome to Edit Sensational Kitchen. On today's video, I'm going to be making fish roe. So these are the ingredients we are going to be using for this fish roe. I have my fish already steamed. I have my, this will be for the fish sauce itself. Onions, scotch bonnet pepper, curry, thyme, garlic, salt to taste. And for the baking, I have my butter, baking powder. I have my sugar, little sugar, salt to taste. And I have my... And I have my nutmeg. So I'm going to be using a little bit of oil for the preparing of the sauce. And I have my fish stock. I will be using this fish stock to mix my flour to make it sweeter so first thing first I'm going to be disboning the fish there are a lot of bone on it so I'm going to be taking off the, the, the bone from the fish this might take me quite some time I want to make sure that I remove the bone from the fish okay I just cleaned my fish, took away the bones, and I'm about to start. So I'm going to be using this Titus oil, just a little bit of it. So I'm going to be going in with my onions. The rest of the ingredients, I'll go in with the salt. I want it to be a bit spicy, that's why I'm using scotch pepper. So now I'm going to go in with the fish. To mix everything together. So I'll just leave it for a little while before I switch it off and continue with our dough mixing. Our fish group uh, filling is ready, so I just want to switch off the gas. And I'm going to be pouring it here so that it will get cold. So I'm going to set this aside. Now we're going to be missing our dough. So at the middle of our dough, I'm going to put a hole on it. So we're going with our butter. This is our baking powder, sugar, nutmeg, and salt. everything together with my hands I'm making a small quantity of fish roe 
This flower should be about a hundred gram. So it's not much. So I'm just making sure that the butter meets on the flour. Like I said before, so that I will be using my fish stock to give it another sweeter taste. But I'm going to go in with litchi by litchi so that the water will not be excess. If you have never done this before, just try it to give it its own sweetness. I'm going to be taking the dough on the work surface to knead it a little bit. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to keep the dough. I would like to rest for about 5 to 10 minutes before I will come and roll it out. I will start frying immediately. Because we are going to be frying our fish roll. So I'm going to keep it to rest for another 5 minutes. So we'll come back when our dough is well rested and we'll start rolling it out. See you then. Our dough is well rested. So I'm going to be rolling our dough. Just want to knead it again. Then So I'm going to be cutting it too. I'm going to roll out this one. Stretch it out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to be going in with my filling.
So I'm going to be learning new talk on this train. Little bits that I have all this. This is a pastry cutter to cut it. If there's any excess, I'll just cut it away. So, uh, there's something I forgot. I'm supposed to seal it with water. Some people they use egg, so you can also use water if you don't have egg. to be adding to the nice happy holy sense thanks so like roll it like this, use my thumb to seal it, roll the second time, then I'm going to use water. to be doing the last batch for now before I start frying. I'm going to fold it on it, seal it, roll. So I'm going to be oiling my gas cooker so that our oil will be hot before we start frying our fish roll. So once the oil is hot, we'll start frying our fish roll. I just want to go in with this piece to see if it's ready. Here is not hot enough, you just wait for it to be hot before we start frying. Give it about another one minute. So, we're going to be putting our 
fish roll gently in the oil. So this is our fish roe, it's golden brown, I'm taking it off from the fire, though I've already removed some of them. As you can see, our fish roll is ready. I just took it out. It's still very hot. This is the inside of our fish roll. That's it on today's video. Please watch my video. Watch it from beginning to the end. And if you, are, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for always being there for me. I'm really, really grateful. See you on the next video. Bye.